Poland. Frono's Photo. Dot com here with some quick tips for using the adjustment brush inside of Lightroom. Now I don't use it terribly too often, but I discovered some things that will definitely help you out to use the adjustment brush better to get better results when you're editing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this image right here. So the adjustment brush is up here on the top right hand corner. What happens is if you click it and then you start painting something like the sky like this, you see how I'm just clicking and, and painting? Well. I can go over here now and change the exposure to that area. Now, of course, that's an extreme example, but I can't really tell where I'm painting for the most part, especially if it's subtle. So what do we need to do? We hit the O button. You see down here, it says show selected mask overlay. That's what you're showing. You're showing where the adjustment brush has been painted. In this case, I'm going to delete it because there's another tip that I want to show you. Oh, by the way, you see the uh, adjustment brush getting larger and smaller. That's because I'm swiping up with my finger on my on my mouse right here or swiping down. Um, so we're gonna go back here. We've got adjustment brush. We've got the O is selected. I'm gonna zoom in here on Dave's face. And I'd say I just wanna, I wanna brighten up his face. Now it may not be something that I wanna do, but do you see how I'm going outside of the lines here? And I don't wanna go outside the lines. I don't want to brighten up, say, this other spot. Now I'm gonna hit O again to see it after I made the change. I don't wanna brighten up this because then you're gonna see that it looks terrible and it looks fake. So let me go ahead and get rid of this and show you a little secret that I discovered for how to make sure you stay within the lines for the most part. Do you know how in Lightroom you use the magic, the, the lasso tool with the magnet on it, how it kind of hugs the outside of a frame? Well, if you hold down the command button here on the Mac and then I go ahead and I paint, look, it's keeping it as inside as possible, much better than when I was doing it manually. So I can just keep coming out here a little bit more. It's painting it in, it's painting it in. Boom, what happens if you go outside the lines a little bit? You can go ahead and hit the option key and you see a minus shows up. Now we can paint that out so that we're not affecting anything we don't want to affect. So that's simple, basic tip. Let me show you one more thing um, that you could do with it. Check it out, it, it, it stands out even more here. So I'm gonna hold down command again and look, I just want to paint his collar. And even though you see that I'm ac actually getting outside of the line here, it's not affecting his neckline. There it's affecting, yep, I just saw that. I see that I, it started to go outside of the line on his shirt. So it hu definitely hugs the neckline better. Um, I guess it's probably because of the contrast there, but this is a heck of a lot better than if I just tried to do it myself. So I can even make it smaller and go in here and it's still staying there where I want it to be. So then I could change the neckline. Let me hit O again so you could see the change. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. But those are some basic tips for using the adjustment brush. It's pretty simple. Now, use test out the adjustment brush. It's great if you want to paint in little areas or just adjust small things. It's really good for that, or you could use it for large things like the sky out here. You could just keep painting. Let me hit the O again, just so we can see where we're doing it. And I'm holding down the command button again, so it's not going into the booth here. It really didn't go into the crowd there as much, and I'm keeping it to, you know, some pretty good places. Now, I would, I would get a little more jiggy with this one, but um, this is just showing you what's happening here. You're just painting, painting, painting. Gonna hit the O again, and I'm be like, oh, I wanna change the white balance and you can see that I'm just changing the white balance, or I wanna change the exposure so it looks terrible. Uh, not exactly what I wanna do right there. But in the past, a lot of people have asked me to make a Lightroom guide. Now, I use Lightroom and I've been using it since day one when it came out, but I'm not the foremost expert in all of the subtle nuances. I know enough to be dangerous for, for what I do for when I'm editing, but since I haven't made a guide, I'm gonna show you one right now from a friend of mine named Matt Klaskowski. He's the guy I learned from when I first started Lightroom. Back in the day, he had what was called Lightroom Killer Tips. And when I didn't know what to do in Lightroom 1.0, I turned to his videos, which he was charging for, but I, I watched the free ones, um, and I learned a lot. Uh, I turned to him to learn as much as possible. So you can go to mattk.com slash fro right now because he's selling what's called his, uh, he calls it the Lightroom system. I call it the Lightroom Encyclopedia or the Bible because you can turn to it anytime you need to get 
as much information as you need as possible to learn how to do different things in Lightroom. So you can go to mattk.com slash fro, use the code fro at checkout, and you're gonna save a hundred bucks off of it right now. It's uh, 13 hours worth of video. Let me just show you some of the things here. Look at all of the different video modules that you get. Things like um, how Lightroom works. I know that's basic and all of that, but split toning, sharpening, lens correction, vignettes, removing, uh, removing haze with dehaze, camera calibration. There is so much information here. You can get more information at mattk.com slash fro. Now this is going to expire soon, so please use the code fro at checkout to save a hundred bucks. And the reason I'm promoting this is because he built the encyclopedia or slash the Bible that I like to call it because it's much easier to turn around and go see his videos than search YouTube to try and find the information. He gives it all to you in a clear, concise manner, gives you files to work with, walks you through everything step by step. Whether you're a very beginner or you're intermediate, you're gonna find something in this Lightroom guide that is totally gonna help you out. I still go back to it when I need to learn information about something, I'm like, oh, okay, that made sense and it only took me a matter of minutes. So that's it, guys. Go check it out. Use the code FRO at checkout to save 100 bucks, more than 100 bucks right now when you get his 13-plus hour guide. That's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.